Reels, stories, TikToks, these are all short form vertical videos for social media. And each social media platform has its own set of stickers that you can use on those videos to give it a little bit of interest. But these sticker libraries are somewhat limited and what's available is not always the same across all platforms. Well, that's where Canva comes in because you can create your own set of custom stickers to use across all of those platforms. You can create graphic stickers, word stickers, even logo stickers to use on your social media content. My name is Kat. This is Canva Catterday. Let's get to it. You can use any graphic or photo that's in Canva. You can use your logo. You can even type out text and all of these can be used as stickers. Now, right here, I have a few beach theme graphics because I would like to post a beach theme social media post. What you want to make sure you're doing is with these graphics, each one needs to be on its own separate page in order to be used as a sticker. So I'm going to use this shell set right here. Let me just add a new page. I'm going to give it its own page and I'll place it in the middle and make sure that the graphic is almost the size of your canvas. Now it can be square, it can be rectangle, it can be long, short, whatever that happens to be. It's all going to depend on the size of the graphic itself, but you want to leave just a little bit of border and make that sticker close to the size of that canvas. Once you've done that, you can just download it to your device. Before I do that, I'm going to take each of the other graphics and give them their own page. So I have multiple stickers to work with. So I'm going to grab this little crab, give him a page by himself. Let's bring that up like this. Close enough like that. Let's go grab a little flip flops. Give myself another page. Bring that up like that. And then last one is going to be our little sand pail right there. Copy that and bring it down here. And this way, each one of these will be its own sticker. So there we go. I don't need this first page anymore, so let me get rid of that. So now I have all four sets of stickers. Now all I have to do is download this to your device. There are two ways you can do this. One is to download this to your computer and then share it to your phone. But the quicker way is to use one of Canva's built-in tools. Click on share, click on more. And right here, you see where it says send to phone. If you click on that, it's going to give you a little QR code. All you're gonna do is scan that QR code with the camera on your phone. So let me go grab my phone. I have my phone connected right here. And I'm gonna show you how you do this. Let me move this little window over so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. There's my phone. And you simply open your phone's camera, hover over that QR code, and it will open that design right on your phone. Now I can download this directly to my phone. So I'm going to click on download. Very important, make sure you're clicking transparent background because we want those stickers not to have this white background that's behind it. So click transparent background and download it to your phone. And then we're going to upload it to social media. I'm going to save those four images. Now I'm going to go over to one of my accounts. Let's go to Instagram. And let's say I want to make a story. I'm going to add myself a little video that I had already made. And next we want to add that sticker. If you click on the sticker icon here at the top, now in stories, it's at the top. If you're on reels, it's going to be over to the side. So I'm click on that sticker icon and scroll down a little bit. And there's a little icon right there that, that allows you to then use anything that's in your camera roll as a sticker. So we're going to click on that. I'm going to click on this fun little set of seashells. Look at that. I've got a sticker. You can resize this. You can rotate it. You can do whatever you want with this, just like any other sticker that's available in social media. So I'm going to put one right there. Let's add a couple more. Grab that little sand pail. We'll put this over here and let's add one more. So I'm going to add flip flops right here. There you go. You just added stickers to your social media account. So that's one way that you can add these stickers. You can also add text or a logo. So let's go down here. I'm going to add another page and let's add some text. Typing T on my keyboard. Beach, please. Well, hang on. Let's fix that. Beach, please. 
And let's give this a fun font style, something uh, scripty like this. Once again, make sure it's nice and large. Now I can leave it like this. I can give it a color, but what you could also do with text is give it sort of a white border outline so that it really stands out on that social media post. So to do that, click on effects, go over here to outline. See how it's got that gray outline. We can change that, bring that up a little bit, change that, or you can bring it all the way up. So it really looks like a cutout sticker, something that might be like on a Cricut machine. And yes, you can do this to make stickers for Cricut machines. Click on the color change it to white. Now you're not going to see it right here because my background is white. I promise it's there. I'll show you. There it is. See, that background is white. And you're going to download this again to your device. So let me slide over here. I'm gonna delete these two that are here. Let's get rid of these stickers right here. I'm gonna leave this story up and I'm going to go to my phone's camera roll, click on share. Click on more, send to phone, and then open your camera. And it's gonna hover, tap on it, and it opens that design. Now we only need that last page this time. So I'm gonna click on download, download, make sure it's transparent. And I only need the last page. I only need page five this time. Click done, download. It's gonna save it to your device, save. And then you can go right back to your social media post, tap on the sticker, there it is right there. You can resize it. You can move it around. You can add more, whatever you want. That's how you add your word stickers. Last time, let's do a logo. So let's move this back over so you can see everything. One more page, go to your logo. And I'm gonna add this one. You can add a colored logo, a black logo, whatever you want. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna make this logo completely white. So let me change my colors real quick here and here. I know you can't see it. I promise when you download it, it will work. So we're going to click share again, click more, click send to phone. And I will show you my phone one more time. We'll do this one more time with the phone. Let's get rid of this beach logo. Go to my camera, hover over that QR code. Once again, I only need the last page this time. Download transparent. Oh, well, I just downloaded them all. That's okay. We'll just use the last one. All right, they're on my phone now. And let's go back to Instagram. I have multiples now. But there is now my logo in that white text, just like that. How fun, right? It's just so easy to do this. And like I said, you can also do this with photos if you want to make some type of fun photo sticker. You can even do it with animations. That's another video, but you can do it with animations as well, making all of these fun stickers for your social media content. If this was helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. That's all for this week. I'll see you next time.